Hey guys, it's Emily here. Today we've got our first time challenge Tuesday. And today we're doing an upper body body weight driven workout. So first up we're having five renegade rows. This is the only one we're using dumbbells for. If you don't have dumbbells, you can do the motion without the dumbbells. Just squeeze your shoulder blades together. Next we have 10 one leg push up twists. So your outside leg is going to be the one that's elevated in the air. Then you're going to put both down while you rotate. Then we have 5 dive bomber pike press combos. So you're going to go and do a dive bomber. And then a pike press. So there you go down for the dive bomber. Come up back up and then the pike press. Then we're doing 10 tricep dips. You can either do these elevated like me or off of a, the ground or on a yoga mat. Then we have five dynamic burpees. So we're going through three rounds of each of these exercises as fast as we can. Make sure you watch your form and keep it clean. We're going to do a quick five minute warm up. So we're going to begin with arm swings, okay? So you're stepping side to side and you're pulling your arms back behind you. And we're doing this for about 30 seconds. We're just stretching out our arms here, stretching out our back, getting the blood pumping, Now we're switching it to arm circles. If it's not comfortable to do them as big, start off a little smaller and then work your way to the bigger ones. We're going to do 15 forward and then we're going to rotate directions and do 15 backward. Just stretching out our shoulder muscles here. Getting everything nice and loose before we start working it. This is going to be a very, very intense workout. But it is also very short. Okay, now we're just going to do a little arm stretch. So we're crossing our arm over and grabbing behind the elbow with the opposite hand, pulling it towards our chest. And now we're going to do a quick tricep stretch over the head. Don't have to hold it long, just stretching everything out. Inhaling our arms over our head, exhaling forward. Stretching out my hamstrings here. And they are so sore during this video. And you really see my body just give up on me halfway through this video, but I kept going. You know, you can always um, make modifications as necessary, so you see me drop to my knees a lot during this. So here I'm just doing a runner's stretch, so I'm just bringing my leg towards the same um, side, the same elbow on the outside there by my palm, and I'm just stretching it out through my inner thigh. Yeah, so all that matters is that you just keep going, give it all that you have. Here I'm doing a side plank. I like to do side planks for a warm up because it gets my abs warmed up and it helps me with my balance. I'm just rotating side to side a couple times. Still working on getting my side planks down perfectly. Watching this helps me because now I see what I need to work on. My hips are slightly too high and I'm my balance is not very well, obvious, obviously. Okay, so here we're doing a cobra. So we're just laying onto our thighs. Take a nice inhale. Now I'm just rotating my wrists. 
rotating the neck, making sure everything feels nice and loose. Okay, now we're going to move to some jumping jacks. Okay, very good. And now we're going to switch it to some in and out. So you're putting your arms forward and then up. Getting the arms warmed up, getting the legs warmed up, and getting our blood flowing. We're getting our heart rate up here. Next, we're going to switch it into some buck kickers. And that's coming up. Okay, go ahead and switch it to those butt kickers. And then lastly, we're going to switch it to high knees. So go ahead and switch it over. Okay, very good. Now we're going to begin with the workout. Start your timer. I'm beginning here with my five renegade rows. So you do a push up off the dumbbells and then you row the dumbbells up. Again, if you don't have dumbbells, you can just do the motion with your arms. Make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, and now we're going to switch it over to those push-up twists. And we're doing 10 of them. If doing it with one leg up is too much for you, you can always still use, just put your both legs down and just rotate. That's about halfway. And just a couple more. Okay. Give it a quick stretch here. Take a quick breather if you need to. We're going to switch it over to the dive bomber pike presses. So go ahead and get yourself in a push up form and then hike your butt up. Bring your nose towards the ground and in a smooth motion, bring your chest up. And then go slowly back where you came from, and then go for a pike press. These are very challenging. You can do these on your knees. And if it's still too hard, you can go with uh, regular push-ups, where you could just do regular, you could do a push-up and then a pike press. You don't need to bring your head all the way to the ground for the pike press. If all you can do is just an inch or two down, then that's all you need to do. You know what you're capable of. We're only doing five of these because they are a very, very challenging move. And there you can see I dropped it to my knees, but I pop it back up for the pike press. So just do what you can, as long as you're pushing yourself. Now we're going to do our ten tricep dips. Five, four, three, two, one. And now we've got our five dynamic burpees, and that's going to end round one. I 
would have finished faster if Spotify was playing music that I wanted to hear. I had to keep changing my music selection. Okay, so for the dynamic burpee, you're going to go down and then jump your feet out, do a push-up, jump your feet in, up, and then jump. Down, out, push up, in, up, jump. Very good. That ends round one. You can take a quick water break, and then we're going to begin with round two. Hopefully you're keeping up with me, if not beating me. So here I start in with the get, here I start in again with the five renegade rows. So I'm going to row, row, and then go for the push up. Row row and then go for the push-up and you can see there I'm dropping it to my knees for the push-up but I'm popping it back up for the rows again whatever you can do we've got two more here last one in this round now we've got our 10 push-up twists Again, try to do it with one leg. If you can't, then just go ahead and do it with two. Watch your form. It's easy to lose it when you get tired. And there you can see I'm still doing it with one leg, but I'm dropping the one leg onto the ground that is stabilizing my body. And here I'm laughing, and I just kind of collapsed because, <laughs> and now I'm stretching my arms real quick. My arms just started to feel like jello, and they totally gave up on me. So <laughs> I started laughing because I thought it was so funny. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I was so tired this morning while I was filming this, and my legs were so sore <laughs> from the day before, so it was really hard to do these push-up twists. Okay, so just a couple more here. Again, all that matters is that you keep going. Do not give up. Very good job. Next we've got our dive bomber pike presses. Okay, so go into a push-up, hike your butt up, and go for the dive bomber. Again, it's okay to do it on your knees. Just try to pop it back up for the pike press. Two more here. And there I had the drop to my knees for the pike press too. Then I started getting a little frustrated. But I managed to get through so... It's a little frustrating when you you want to keep going so bad, but your body's just, you know, it's like, had enough. And that's when you push yourself, and that's when you make progress. Anything worth having isn't going to be easy. Now we've got our 10 tricep dips. Again, you could do these off the ground if you wanted to. You have a little more range of motion when you do it off of a bench. And just a few more. And now we've got our five dynamic burpees, and that's going to end round two.
It's amazing how great of a workout you can get with just using your own body weight, even for upper body. And if you're pushing yourself, you will feel this tomorrow. By the way, um, for the Renegade Rose, I am using 10 pounds because I know a lot of times you guys want to know how much weight I'm using. That's 10 pounds in each hand. So that ends round two. Now we're going to begin with round three shortly. Go ahead and take a quick water break. Okay, so here we go with our Renegade Rose. We've only got five of them. Let's blast them out and then we're done. Just got everything one more time. You can do it. Come way too far to stop now. And just a couple more here. Give everything you've got into this into this last round here. Empty your tank. Okay, so now we've got our ten one leg push up twists. That's one, two, three, four, five, five. This is real struggle here. <laughs> That's the great thing about a real time workout. You guys get to see me, you know, really work out. Just a few more here. Great job. Now we've got our pike press dive bombers. Last round of these, we've only got to do five. Again, you can do them on your knees, just like me. <laughs> there I collapsed again. <laughs> and I just breathe for a second and then I regroup and I begin in again. This is your own personal time challenge, okay? Go as fast as you can, and then you can always revisit the workout in a few weeks and see if you can go any faster, or see how many more reps you can do without having to drop to your knees. Or maybe you want to use heavier dumbbells for the Renegade Rose. There's always improvements that can be made. So we have to make sure that we're writing these things down. I'm shaking my head here because my body's totally had enough, but I am not done giving it more. I'm laughing so much because this is not, I've never felt like this while working out before, but I've never had this lack of energy that I did today either. I usually get an adamant amount of sleep, but um, yeah, no, not today. So here's the tricep dips, almost done with these. Okay, and now we've just got our dynamic burpees and then we're all done. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and stop your timer, see how long it took you, write it down, save that for next time when you want to revisit the workout. Now join me for a quick stretch. Okay, so we're going to cross one arm over our chest, grab behind the elbow with the opposite hand and pull it towards us. Still moving our feet back and forth because we don't want to shock our bodies and just all of a sudden stop moving. We want to slowly slow the heart rate down. 
So keep moving, whether you're doing a box or shuffle, just stepping lightly back and forth like I am, jogging in place, walking, marching, whatever. Just keep moving a little bit. Now we're just doing a quick tricep stretch over the head. Pulling our elbow down towards our back as much as we can, feeling the stretch through our triceps. Switching to the other arm here. Now inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale your arms back over your head. Just kicking my legs here back and forth a few times, loosening everything up. Okay, now I'm grab interlocking my fingers behind my back, rolling out my neck, and pulling my arms upward. Feel a nice stretch through your shoulders and your upper back, your forearms, everything. Now I'm leaning forward for a deeper stretch. If the stretch felt deep enough for you already, you do not need to lean forward. If you have a little more flexibility, you can go ahead and do that. Now interlock them and put them in front of you rather than behind. Now I'm grabbing two fingers, my middle finger and my pointer finger, and I'm pulling them back to stretch out my forearm. All right, and that was our workout today. Thank you for joining me on our first Time Challenge Tuesday. There will be many more to come. Write down in the comments and let me know how you liked the workout. I want to know your time. Did you beat me? I hope so. My time was 13 minutes and 26 seconds. And next time I revisit the workout, I hope to be faster. Because we always want to make improvements and strengthen ourselves. Okay? Mind, body, and spirit. So you take this workout with you. You have a great day today. And I'll see you here on um, Friday for our Fit Fast Friday. Thank you, guys. Subscribe for more videos and more uploads, you don't want to miss a single workout.